Imagine animating realistic facial expressions and lip syncing a virtual actor's face using only an audio file. I can do it just like this. Oh wait, just in case you're thinking that I'm using facial tracking, uh, I can do it just like this. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it for free. Using Unreal Engine and the power of MetaHumans, we're gonna turn your speech recordings into stunning animations in just a few simple steps with no special apps and no motion capture rig. Whether you're a filmmaker, game developer, or just exploring virtual production, this technique is a game changer for creating lifelike characters absolutely free. Let's dive in and see how it's done. The very first thing that I need to do is record my character voiceover. So here it goes. This world is not gonna change itself. Someone's gotta take the first step. Why not me? Now, in the Epic Games Launcher under Unreal and then Library, you'll see your fab library. And you can either scroll down to M or real quick easy way is just to search for Meta Human. And the one that we need to make absolutely certain that you have installed is this Meta Human plugin. If you don't see that, make sure you open it up from Fab and you can, you'll can you see a button here that says add to my library and then that will add it to your library here. Install that to the Unreal Engine 5.5 or higher engine that you're going to be using in order to utilize this feature. Now open the engine and you're going to go film video and live events and just create a blank project and we're going to call this one facial animation or you can call it whatever you like. It's gonna include the starter content and we're good to go, so create. Now we've got our blank project. We're gonna hit Edit, Plugins, and we're gonna do a search for MetaHuman. And now we need to make sure that uh, MetaHuman is enabled there. MetaHuman is an experimental version, yes! And this is the MetaHuman uh, plugin versus the SDK. So that needs to be selected. Okay, now it says we need to restart, so let's do it. All right, so now we can close the plugin window. If it asks you if you want to update your project, say yes, go ahead. And now we're ready to go. So this button here quickly adds to the project. We're going to add Quixel Bridge. And over on the left-hand side here, we're going to see MetaHumans. There it is. If you have set up your own MetaHumans in MetaHuman Creator, they'll be under My MetaHumans. We're just going to use the presets that come with MetaHumans. So I'm just going to go here. And we can pick any one of these characters in order to create our voiceover actor. So let's say, uh, let's pick uh, this guy. And we're gonna go with cinematic. Uh, of course, there are, are sometimes other options there. We're gonna want the cinematic version because this is for video production. And I'm gonna go download. This may take a little while to download, so I'm gonna minimize that. It will continue running in the background and I'll just get started on setting up my project. So I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call this uh, media. And we'll enter that folder and then we're gonna jump over to my file here. So with my uh, voiceover recorded, I have saved it as a WAV file for compatibility and losslessness. And I'm just gonna take that, drag it, and drop it into my empty folder. And now this is a part of my project. It's called character. So just keep that in mind. You're gonna need that down the road. Let's check on the status of our import. All right, our MetaHuman has completed downloading. So now we can add that character to our project by clicking on add. And now we can close this window. So we now have a folder called MetaHumans and the media folder that we created. So media has my character voiceover audio. If I open the MetaHumans folder, there's a folder called Kaiji and there's the Kaiji MetaHuman blueprint. Uh, I am seeing some missing plugins here. So I'm gonna enable missing, enable missing. Now I can grab Kaiji and drop him onto my scene. You'll see that he uh, may take a moment to load. There we go. I'm gonna rotate him toward me, which is done by pressing E. And there we have it, uh, and with him selected. So there's Kaiji. Now uh, it's prompting me again to restart. So I'm gonna have to restart in order to get all the required settings. And this is an important step because uh, it's going to be activating various plugins and things like that that uh, you're going to need in order to proceed. All right, and here I go. A change to your source content has been detected. Would you like to import it? Import. 
Uh, okay, I don't actually need that. So, all right, I'll just close that window. All right, I'm good to go. So I can start working with my MetaHuman now. What I want to do now is I'm going to go back to my content folder into media, and I want to create an animation for his mouth that matches my character audio. I actually want to rename this file because it doesn't really hint to what it is. I'm going to call this instead of character, uh, change world. So now I'll right click on an empty area of the content browser. I want to keep these together, my animation and the uh, audio itself, just because they are tied together. I'm going to go MetaHuman Animator and then MetaHuman Performance. If you're not seeing that as an option, it means that the plugin hasn't been activated. So please retrace your steps. All right, I'm going to call this the same thing, Change World Face. So notice I added underscore face to that. And now we're going to double click on that. And here we go. I'm going to change my input type to audio. And now I'm going to change my audio to change world. So that is now selected as my audio. My control rig is already selected, so just leave that as it is. My visualization mesh, which just allows me to have a bit of a preview, I'm going to choose Kaiji's face mesh. And now we're going to see that load. It is recommended to use your audio clock. Yes. There we go. So now we've got the face mesh, and you'll notice if I push play, it's nothing worse. actually happens with his itself. mouth. So instead, what I want to do now that everything is set up, I've got my audio selected, I'm just going to hit process up at the top left, and it is literally this easy. Uh, before I do that, I want to just remind you that under here, you can turn on and off settings like uh, automatic blinking and things like that. It is on by default, but just note that you can change these settings if necessary, uh, if you want to change the processing parameters and things like that. So I'm just going to leave the defaults and hit process. And that's all there was to it. Ladies and gentlemen, if I rewind my playback here and then push play, this world is not going to change itself. Someone's got to take the first step. Why not me? Fantastic. So now there is a final step here. This is not actually a part of our MetaHuman yet. We are just animating it. So we're going to export animation up at the top here. And I'm going to put this in my media folder and we're going to call this underscore animation. And I'm going to take off that AS at the beginning there just to keep things nice and clean. Uh, and you'll see this in my folder tree in just a moment. Notice I am in media still, and I'm going to save that. Uh, these options, again, just going to leave those as they are and then hit create. There we are. Now we can change out of the animator. And you'll see that now there is, we've got change world audio, change world face, change world face animation. And if I open that, this is the actual animation that matches my words spoken in my character uh, voiceover. All right, next up is to tie these three assets together, change world the audio, change world the face, and change world face animation. Uh, and this, of course, is the MetaHuman performance. This is the rendered animation that we can use with our MetaHuman. So I'm going to go up to the clapboard here, and we're going to add a level sequence, and I'm going to call this one change world face, and I go SEQ for sequence. And these are just naming conventions that I follow just to make things easier for me to know what's what. Uh, I'm going to click on this add button here. The first thing I want to do is I want to add my metahuman. So actor to sequence and then BP Kaiji. It does get a little more complicated when you've got multiple characters and things like that, big worlds with loads and loads of uh, actors and models. But uh, right now we're working with something real simple, so it's nice and easy. I'm going to uh, click on Control Rig, and uh, so this is under Body, Control Rig, and I'm going to delete that. So just the Delete key on your keyboard, and then under Face, same thing, find the Control Board, Control Rig, and delete that. So we have the body and the face, but no Control Rigs assigned to it. So we're animating today the face. So we're going to highlight the face under him, and we're going to go click on the, pardon me, the plus and then animation, and then you see now, change world face animation. I'm gonna click on that. So now, if I press play, you'll see Kaiji's face moving along with the animation, but there's no sound. I'm just gonna zoom in here. Well, let's change the camera speed. It's just flying in there. All right, so there's Kaiji. 
and I'm going to now add the audio. So note that if I'm right here in the sequencer, um, then the audio is going to start here. So I want to actually rewind it so it matches the starting point of my face animation. And now I want to go add and then add audio track. And it is recommended to use the audio clock. Yes. And then under audio here, we're going to add and we're going to search for our change world sound wave. And there we have it. So now when I press play, this world is not going to change itself. Someone's got to take the first step. Look at that. So nothing to it. It's perfectly synchronized. And you notice how it cut off there. That's because the end marker is happening before the end of the wavetable. So I'm just going to drag that. And now it's going to cover the entire timeline. This world is not going to change itself. Someone's got to take the first step. Why not me? Save your work and join me next time when I show you how to animate Kaiji's body as well to breathe even more life into this metahuman character. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to give me a subscribe and a thumbs up on YouTube. I'd appreciate that very much. And in the meantime, don't forget, if you are not having fun, you're doing it wrong. I'm Robbie Ferguson on The Show Show for Category 5 Technology TV. I'll see you next time.